Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to test the Valorant game in only 4GB of RAM and if you are using 4GB of RAM, so can you run this game? Okay, so we are gonna going to find out in this video. Uh, so now, first of all, I'm gonna show you the specification of this laptop. So here is the task manager. So you're gonna see by yourself. Uh, here the CPU is i3 7th gen. It's a U-series, uh, low-end CPU and 4 gigabyte of RAM. So you can see right now, only Windows, I haven't opened anything and Windows is only using 2 gigabyte. That's why I told every time to people, if you wanted to play games in Windows 10, okay, in lower-end laptops, please upgrade to 8 gigabyte of RAM. Okay, so here you see a uh, uh, GPU, sorry, it's an Intel here. Uh, so this GPU in this laptop, uh, Radeon 520, it's a 2 gigabyte of uh, GDDR5 memory. Okay, it's not that much powerful. So now let's get to the Valorant gameplay and see if uh, this laptop can handle it or not. Okay, so we are finally in game screen and uh, let me show you the settings that I am, you know, trying to get the best possible FPS to at least uh, make this game playable, okay? So let me, let me go to the video. Here you can see I'm right now, currently I'm running this game at uh, definitely the 720p as you can see right here. I wanted to show you these old things by screen recording but guys literally it's not possible to you know do this, this same, these old stuffs at the same time like gaming and screen recording this laptop. It's not handling, it's crashing every time when I turn on the screen recording. Okay, so here you can see uh, 1280 by 720, 60 hertz, and uh, everything is off right here. And graphic quality, definitely, everything is turned off. And I've just, uh, you know, here put the anti-aliasing to MSA to 2x and uh, anisotropic filtration to 4x. So you know, to make these edges a little clear, so that uh, graphics also look a little good. So, but. Uh, in my view, these graphics are really bad, but uh, if you wanted to get, uh, you know, uh, play this game and want to get the experience of Valorant, you can do it. So th there are not going to be any problems. So we are going to in, uh, in death match. so let's start. Match found. Okay guys, so we are in game right now and uh, as you can see, uh, let me show you the FPS. So. Okay guys, so as you can see right here, we are hitting sometime around 80 to 90 FPS and uh, when enemy come in front of me, I'm getting around 40-50 FPS, so that there is definitely going to be a drop and uh, uh, yes, you can play this game in 4GB of RAM, but it's definitely going to be uh, pretty much hard, okay, so when any enemy in comes in front of me, uh, so FPS really drop. Uh, a lot and uh, okay finally got a first skill okay if you wanted to get the experience of the gameplay of the Valorant in 4 gigabyte of RAM you can take it but I will definitely suggest you to upgrade to 8 gigabyte because there are some reasons it's definitely a competitive game and uh, people or enemy in front of you are definitely gonna be with like more than 100 FPS not 100 but uh, at least around 150 plus FPS and you're running with like 60 to 80 FPS you're definitely not gonna compete with them so that's why uh, I will suggest you to upgrade to 8 gigabyte but uh, yeah you can take experience so this is it for this video guys if you have any question please do comment like share subscribe and uh, I will definitely reply in comment and I will catch you in the next one take care for now bye bye